first of all cooing or musical vowel sounds produced by the child the child is able to do that starting from 3 months of age laughing out loudly which is a previous year question a part of a previous year question case scenario 4 months of age monosyllables and babbling comes at 6 months of age types of babbling types canonical babbling canonical bisyllables all those things i have discussed in regular video detailed video so you can have a look there in case time permits but if if they simply ask you monosyllables when bisyllables when that, that those one liner based thing is what i'm discussing in the rapid repetition so monosyllables and babbling comes at 6 months of age bisyllables comes at 8 to 9 months of age mama papa dada chacha kaka that repetition first real word child is able to make starting from 12 months of age that is one year of age and one to two words with meaning are also spoken from 12 months of age jargon speech jargon speech means indicating common needs by simple nonsensical sound for example a child needs water he cannot say water so he will say mum so using that sound to indicate common need jargon speech begins at 15 months of age four to six words with meaning also comes at 15 months of age eight to 10 words with meaning begins at 18 months of age then the child has a vocabulary of 100 words starting from 2 years of age at 2 years child is also able to make and speak two word sentences mummy shoe two word sentence he needs shoes so he will say mummy shoe that 2 years of age and using i me or you also comes at 2 years then speaking three word sentences mummy do do de do he is using three words three word sentence he is able to make starting from 3 years of age he is also able to count and remember three digits starting from 3 years of age so three word sentences three digits and three wheeled cycle all of them at 3 years of age then he knows full name age and gender starting from 3 years of age and he is able to ask questions starting from 3 years of age then the child is able to tell a story song or poem starting from 4 years of age so nursery rhymes like baba black sheep twinkle twinkle little star child is able to say starting from 4 years of age so remember your time when you were a young kid and relatives will come and then parents would say beta let's let us start with some poem and you would start with poem half of that you will forget half of them you know with people prompting you you will be able to complete everyone will be clapping you would be so happy those embarrassing days when do they begin they will start from 4 years of age often what relatives would sometimes do is they will give you that 5 rupee or 10 rupee which you will put in your pocket and as soon as relatives will leave your mom will ask you give it to me i will return it to you later only for your mother never to return it so if you have gone through those middle class days i am saying 5 rupee 2 rupee because in my time it used to be 2 rupee 5 rupee maybe it it will it might have been more in your case so it's a typical middle class thing when does this begin this embarrassing thing embarrassing when you look back that starts from 4 years of age and using future tense repeating four digits and names four colors then asking meaning of words starts from 5 years of age these are the two things i want to highlight asking meaning of words it's 5 year asking questions is 3 year so there is a difference between the two milestone people tend to mix up them asking questions is 3 year asking meaning of words that ability to expand the horizon and asking if there is a particular word is being spoken child ask the meaning of that word asking question is simple mom where were you that is asking question mom would say i had gone to a parlor mom what is the meaning of a parlor what do you do in a parlor that is asking meaning of the first one is 3 years of age it begins the second question 5 years of age begins i hope the distinction is clear then we have the personal social or the cognitive milestones first of all spontaneous smile it begins in the newborn period smiling in the absence of a stimulus spontaneously is called as spontaneous smile social smile smiling when you speak to the child when you look at the child when you smile at the child that begins at 2 months of age recognizing mother begins at 3 months of age recognizing mother is also sometimes written as recognizing caretaker because generally mother is the caretaker that begins at 3 months of age what is hand regard when the child is awake he will keep looking at his hand then the other hand then again the first hand and then it begins at 3 months of age and stops by 5 months of age so hand regard you can write begins at 3 months and stops by 5 months of age illingworth says that hand regard if it persists beyond 5 month 
it indicates likely brain damage or developmental delay. Hand regard, according to Illingworth again, can be there even in a blind child. So even a bl cortical blindness, you can have hand regard present. So rather than being a visual milestone, this is a developmental phase which is there in the child. Many theories have been given, none of them proven. So hand regard begins at 3 months, stops at 5 months, persisting beyond 5 months, developmental delay. It's a brain abnormality should be suspected. And hand regard can occur in blind child? Yes, it can occur in a blind child. Then mirror play as well as stranger anxiety comes at 6 months. Of mirror play means child plays with his own mirror image. He feels happy looking at his own mirror image. That comes at 6 months of age. True, what is stranger anxiety? Child is afraid of new faces. That is stranger anxiety. Object permanence or constancy generally comes at 8 months of age. According to Nelson, 22nd edition. Nelson says it comes at 8 months of age. Right. What is object permanence? If you hide an object, child would know that object continues to exist even if not visible. He will try to uncover and find that object. That object permanence, that realization, objects can be uh, there even if not visible and they can be hidden. That realization, that constancy is there of the object if it exists, that starts from 8 months of age. Then waving bye-bye comes at 9 months of age. Playing peekaboo, covering and uncovering the face the child plays, 10 months of age. Playing a simple ball game starts from 12 months of age. Separation anxiety or reproachment comes at 18 months of age. What is separation anxiety or reproachment? See, stranger anxiety is child is afraid of new faces. That is stranger anxiety. What is separation anxiety? Child cries when the parents are not around. Unfamiliar environment or alone, he cries. That is separation anxiety, 18 months of age. Domestic mimicry, also at 18 months. Child mimics common actions happening at home. Domestic mimicry. Learns the ability to kiss parents to express his happiness starts from 18 months of age, right? Moving further, parallel play does not interact, plays alone, that the normal age of attainment is between 2 to 3 years. Group play where he interacts, where he interacts, that comes at 4 years of age and follows 3 step commands starting from 5 years of age. Then we have the dressing and undressing milestones, again, which are frequently asked in the exam. So remember, that with support comes first, without support comes late. Undressing comes first, dressing comes late. Why undressing comes first? Because undressing is an easy thing. Dressing is a complex thing. You can remember like this. If you have to go to a party, which takes longer time? Getting ready or coming back or changing into your clothes and sleeping off? Getting ready takes a longer time. And it's a misconception that girls take a lot of time to get ready. If girls are listening to this and those who have their friends or have their brothers, or have their husbands, or have their boyfriends, they would also know that boys also take a lot of time. There are some boys, as I'm speaking, I can see those faces, those friends, including my brother, take a lot of time to get ready, right? So it's a misconception. So you can remember like this, that getting ready takes longer time, means it's a complex milestone, so that will come late. Coming back and, you know, changing your clothes is easier. So that is a simple thing, so that will come first. So you can remember it like this, 2 plus 3 equal to 5. Undressing with support comes at 2 years of age. Dressing with support comes at 3 years of age. Both addressing and undressing independently. And tying of shoelaces comes at 5 years of age. So 2 plus 3 equal to 5. 5 is both of them independently. 2 means undressing. Plus sign means with support. 3 means dressing. Plus sign means with support. So 2 years, 3 years, 5 years. It's a stupid way I know. But you have too much of information to read. There is no harm. If your MCQ goes right, a stupid reference or a stupid way to remember is absolutely fine. I've said it before in my uh, regular videos also. When it comes to MCQ entrance exam, whether it is need UG, need PG, FMG, need super speciality, INA super speciality, what matters is answer should be correct. Right? Answer should be correct. That is the most important thing. So, destination is more important than journey and make use of uh, whatever logic you want to make while remembering milestone. Details one, detailed ones I have already discussed in the regular video.